Good morning. I am coming to you today with bed talk number 12 for me. Instead of a TED talk on stage, a bed talk from bed. My fellow speaker and friend Dave Rendell was inspired by this idea, and many of our fellow speakers across the country are doing this. The idea being, share a thought for the day, a message, something maybe to uplift, inspire, or redirect things during these challenging times. And as you heard the other day, I've also been digging in the bottom of my t-shirt drawer, another idea from Dave, and I found this one. So don't, you know, nothing freaky here. It's Robert Downey Jr. And those are rabbit ears, pink rabbit ears. I have no idea why. I just have the t-shirt and I liked it. So I'm wearing it for you today to maybe give you a chuckle. Today, I want to talk about the idea that great is a choice. Great is a choice. I want to take us back to 2009, February 2009, in the middle of the financial crisis, which was the last major kind of financial hit this country took. I was cruising along, making my six-figure income, but not really doing great in my business world, but I was okay. Then came February 2009. I had always wanted to get back to having my own business, but I was uncertain. I wasn't sure if it was the right time. I wanted to make sure finances were in better shape. All those things most of us regularly talk about in terms of trying to make change. And then the change got made for me. My employer brought me in and said, we're, you're doing such a great job, Jeff, and we're letting you go. And I was not really shocked. I was not disappointed because I realized, oh, that means that's the sign I'm supposed to go do what I'm really meant to do. And about three or six, probably four weeks later, I was at a networking event for people in transition. I actually wasn't in transition, and you'll hear in a moment why, but I had been speaking to transition groups about networking. And the leader of that group came up and said, Jeff, how are you doing tonight? And I said, man, I'm doing great. And he said, you know, that's great to hear. Um, I don't hear that much here. I said, no, I know it's really depressing here because everyone's talking about what's not. Everybody's focused on, there's no jobs, no opportunities. Their whole focus is on what's not versus what is. And he said, well, with all due respect, Jeff, you have a job. I said, actually, I don't. So what do you mean? I said, well, I lost my job four or five weeks ago. He said, oh my God, what are you doing? I said, I, I decided to start a business. And he said, are you crazy? You're starting a business in the middle of this downturn? I said, yeah, I think there's an opportunity here. And he said, well, you must have all your finances in place or lots of clients. I said, actually, I have no clients. I said, I know what a sales funnel looks like. I have a drawing on a piece of uh, flip chart paper on my wall, but there's nothing in the funnel yet. I said, I have no cash flow and no prospects in the funnel. I'm just starting from scratch. And he said, well, your finances must have been in great shape. I said, actually, they're in the worst, case, worst shape they could be for something like this. I've been trying to dig out of another financial failure in terms of my business eight, nine years earlier. I said, I'm in the middle of a divorce. I'm paying for two households. This is the worst possible time to do this. And he said, well, that's true. Then why are you doing this? And I said, well, maybe because it's always the right time for the right thing always the right time for the right thing. And then he asked me this question. Well, Jeff, with all that going on and all that uncertainty and all that, who knows, how can you be great? I said, well, that was a choice I made when I got up this morning. I chose great. And I've been choosing great for a long time. And here's the thing. Great is not does not mean I pretend these things aren't happening. It doesn't mean ignoring them. And it's not positivity. It's just an internal choice that feeds and feeds from and into the idea of seeing what is. And that's a form of gratitude. You know, a lot of people go through a process of I'm grateful for. I've learned that I've come to a point in my life where I see what is. And I see the things to be grateful for. I don't even have to go looking for them. And I recognize the other, but I'm focusing, focusing on what is and what is good, whether it's continued health, the opportunities. My business took a cliff 
three weeks ago. 70%. That's not coming back in the old way for a while. I don't even know when. So I'm getting creative. I'm doing what I call pivoting. I'm, I'm improvising. I'm serving. I'm giving a lot away right now. I'm doing free webinars. I am definitely keeping my plate full with ideas and activities. And I continue to be great. And I am great through all of this. And you can be too. It's not just a word. It's a way of being. And great is a choice. And I hope all of you will choose it. See you next time.